Hi, Dr. Mommy here again. Um, lesson five involves a little bit of, well, it's, I should say it's a little involved. So I wanted to help as much as I can because I know we're all busy um, and I'll probably beleaguered. Um, so just the idea is that we're, we're going to see if different things appear um, where they used to be invisible on different on different media, different foods. Um, so I'm pretty agnostic as to what you try specifically. So for example, um, I I dissolved like half a po packet of like the ramen stuff. You know what I mean? When you buy the packaged ramen, there's like the little packet of seasoning, right? So I just took half of that and dissolved it in a cup of water and put it in a mason jar um i took some i think it was maybe like a teaspoon of bullion and put it in a cup of water um and then um if you you know really want to get creative um there's something called um potato dextrose um media um and i'll probably explain more about that later i'll link to a recipe but essentially you, you cut up some potato, um, maybe like a quarter cup. Um, you don't even have to peel off the skins, um, but then you you boil it and then you, you pour off the, the, it. So like the reason you boil it is because you're solubilizing some of the starch. Some of the starch is dissolving into the water. Um, and so you can use that water with the starch. It's really yummy for certain kinds of organisms. Um, I'm not going to say more yet, um, but then you, you add, I don't know, maybe like a tablespoon of sugar per, per cup, essentially. Um, now what's really fun is if you've got some auger and you don't need much, I, I maybe put like a quarter teaspoon per quarter cup. Um, you might, you might double that you know, if you want it to be really firm. Um, I don't know, I'll, I'll link to some place you can get that as well. Um, what's also really helpful is if you have one of these kitchen balances and I can, I'm, I, I don't care what kind you get, um, but I can link to probably the one I bought. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah, the, it's fun to add, you know, just like maybe a quarter cup of whatever media you're using with maybe like a quarter or a half teaspoon of auger. And then what I do is um, I put them in a pressure cooker. And um, so for anyone who's ever used a pressure cooker, please follow the instructions of the instrument. Um, but, you know, you, you, you put it on the stove and you crank up the heat and um you'll hear it start to you know kind of go um and then you then the top will really start to dance and it'll go you can quote me on that um once it starts to really make that noise um i leave it in for 20 or 40 minutes especially if it's got auger i like to leave it in for longer to make sure because auger is, really takes its time dissolving um but then once you pull them out, um, I'll just tilt it and it'll solidify like that. So you've got a lot of surface area um, to play and um, it's really neat because you can actually see little dots of stuff that was invisible before and that's, I think it's really pretty, I mean, of course I would and it's my day job. Um, but yeah, I, I hope that helps again. You don't need to use auger. I've, this probably says a lot about me, but I've never actually used um, gelatin. If you know anything about gelatin, go nuts. Um, but uh, the important thing is either to cook it in a pressure cooker, and at some point we'll probably explain why that's helpful. Um, or you can just stick a mason jar and um, a pot of boiling water for a while. That'll work fine. Um, again, we'll, we're going a little bit out of order because I'm not explaining why we're boiling it, but I promise we will get there. Um, and beyond that, whether it's solid or liquid media, I don't, I don't care what you use. 
Um, try adding salt, try leaving salt out, try adding sugar, try leaving sugar out. You're gonna get interesting results depending on what you do. Um, so just, just take note and have fun.